The dimly lit bar was a hive of activity, filled with the raucous laughter and chatter of patrons from across the galaxy. Smoke from exotic pipes wafted through the air, mingling with the heady aroma of strong alien liquors. In one shadowy corner, a rugged human mercenary named Jaden Ryder sat nursing a whiskey, his eyes scanning the crowd with a mix of boredom and wariness. Jaden had seen his share of seedy dives like this over the years, but something about this particular bar on the remote space station of Nefixus 9 made his skin crawl. Maybe it was the way some of the alien patrons eyed him with open hostility, or maybe he was just getting too old for this shit. Either way, he couldn't shake the feeling that trouble was brewing. He was just about to toss back the last of his drink and head out when a flash of movement at the bar caught his eye. A stunningly beautiful humanoid female had just walked in, her lithe figure clad in a form-fitting jumpsuit that left little to the imagination. Jaden felt his pulse quicken as he watched her saunter up to the bar and order a drink with a musical voice that seemed to cut through the din of the room. As if sensing his gaze, the female turned and locked eyes with Jaden. For a moment, he forgot to breathe. She had luminous silver eyes, set in a heart-shaped face framed by cascading waves of shimmering purple hair. Her full lips curved into a coy smile as she raised her glass to him in a silent toast. Jaden hesitated for only a second before rising from his seat and making his way over to her, his boots thudding heavily on the grimy floor. As he approached, he could see that her jumpsuit was even more revealing up close, hugging every curve of her lithe, athletic body. This seat taken? He asked gruffly, nodding at the empty stool beside her. It is now, she replied with a playful smirk, her voice like honey and silk. She patted the seat invitingly. I'm Tyla, and you are? Jaden, he grunted as he slid onto the stool, signaling the bartender for another whiskey. Jaden Ryder, what's a pretty thing like you doing in a dive like this? Tyla laughed, a tinkling sound that made Jaden's heart skip a beat. Oh, I'm just passing through on my way to the Orion Nebula. Thought I'd stop in for a drink and some stimulating conversation. She ran a slender finger along the rim of her glass, her silver eyes smoldering as they met his. Jaden felt a flush of heat spread through his body that had nothing to do with the whiskey. This girl was trouble. He could feel it in his bones. But damned if she wasn't the most intoxicating thing he'd laid eyes on in a long time. When they fell into easy conversation, trading flirtatious banter and increasingly suggestive looks over their drinks. Tyla told him she was a dancer, traveling the star systems in search of new adventures and exciting experiences. Jaden found himself captivated by her exotic beauty and charming wit, the cares of his rough murk life momentarily forgotten. As the evening wore on, Tyla leaned in close, her jasmine scent enveloping him. This has been lovely, Jaden, she purred, her lips brushing his in a tender kiss, until we meet again. With that, she slid off the stool and disappeared into the crowd, leaving Jaden stunned and breathless. He savored the lingering taste of her on his lips, his mind reeling from the unexpected encounter. Little did he know that a single kiss would soon turn his world upside down. The next day, Jaden was relaxing in his quarters after a particularly rough mission when a chime at the door interrupted his thoughts. He opened it to find Tyla standing there, a small bundle cradled in her arms. Hello, Jaden, she greeted him, her silver eyes shining with joy. I have someone very special for you to meet. Jaden's eyes widened in shock as Tyla held out the bundle, revealing a tiny, unmistakably human-looking baby. The infant gazed up at him with curious green eyes, the exact same shade as his own. Tyla, what? How? He stammered, his mind struggling to comprehend what he was seeing. Congratulations, Jaden, Tyla said softly. You're a father. Jaden staggered back, his heart pounding in his chest. That's impossible. We only shared a kiss last night. There's no way. Tyla smiled patiently. For my species, a single kiss with a genetically compatible mate is all it takes. We absorb the DNA and the embryo is formed and gestated within a matter of hours. Jaden shook his head in disbelief, panic rising in his throat. I, I can't deal with this right now, he muttered pushing past her and fleeing down the corridor. His mind raced as he tried to process the incredible revelation. A father? Him? From a single kiss? It seemed like something out of a bizarre dream. Lost in his thoughts, he found himself outside the quarters of his best friend and fellow mercenary, 
Mick Deturian. Mick was a humanoid alien with a gruff exterior but a loyal heart. If anyone could help him make sense of this situation, it was him. Jaden pounded on the door, his heart hammering in his chest. When Mick answered, he took one look at Jaden's ashen face and ushered him inside. What's going on, Ryder? Mick asked, concern etched on his craggy features. You're not going to believe this, Jaden said, running a hand through his hair. Remember that Lyrian girl I met at the bar last night, Tyla? Well, apparently we're parents now. She showed up at my door with a baby, claiming it's mine from our kiss. To Jaden's surprise, Mick let out a hearty laugh and clapped him on the shoulder. Ah, so you've discovered the joys of Lyrian reproduction, have you? Congratulations, my friend. You're in for quite the adventure. Jaden stared at him, dumbfounded. Wait, you knew about this? Mick grinned. Of course. It's common knowledge among us non-humans. Lyrians are a fascinating species. One kiss and bam, instant baby. Jaden sank down onto a chair, his head spinning. What the hell am I supposed to do now, Mick? I'm not ready to be a father. Mick sat down beside him, his expression turning serious. Look, Jaden, I know it's a lot to take in, but from what I've heard, Lyrian children have an unbreakable bond with both parents. You may not feel ready, but trust me, you'll grow into the role. And hey, think of all the new adventures you'll have as a dad. Jaden groaned, burying his face in his hands. His life had just taken a wild turn, all because of a single electrifying kiss. He had a feeling that his journey as a father was only just beginning, and it was going to be one hell of a ride. Jaden paced back and forth in mixed quarters, his mind still reeling from the shocking revelation. A father. He was a father. The words felt foreign on his tongue, like a language he'd never learned to speak. Mick watched him with a mixture of amusement and sympathy. You know, Ryder, you can't run from this forever. That little bundle of joy is half yours whether you like it or not. Jaden shot him a glare. I didn't ask for this, Mick. I'm a mercenary, not a damn babysitter. What the hell do I know about raising a kid? You think any of us are truly ready to be parents? Mick chuckled. It's a learn-as-you-go kind of gig. But from what I've seen, you've got the makings of a great dad. You're loyal, protective, and you've got a heart bigger than this whole damn space station. Jaden sighed, running a hand over his face. I just... I never thought it would happen like this. A one-night kiss and boom, instant fatherhood. It's a lot to wrap my head around. I get it, man. But you know what? You face down some of the nastiest scum in the galaxy without flinching. Compared to that, changing a few diapers should be a cakewalk. Despite himself, Jaden felt a smile tug at the corner of his mouth. I guess you've got a point there. Damn right I do. Now, which, why don't you go find that lovely Lyrian of yours and start figuring out this whole co-parenting thing? Who knows? It might just be the best adventure you've ever had. Jaden took a deep breath, squaring his shoulders. All right, all right, I'll do it. But if that kid pukes on me, I'm sending you the cleaning bill. Mick's laughter followed him out the door as Jaden set off to find Tyla and his newfound son. It didn't take long to track them down. Tyla was in the station's arboretum. The baby cradled against her chest as she swayed gently among the lush alien foliage. She looked up as Jaden approached, her silver eyes soft and warm. I knew you'd come around, she murmured. Jaden rubbed the back of his neck, suddenly feeling awkward and unsure. Look, Tyla, I'm sorry for running off like that. It was just a lot to take in, you know? She nodded, a smile playing on her lips. I understand, Jaden. Believe me, I was just as surprised when I found out. But the moment I held our son in my arms, I knew everything would be all right. Our son, the words sent a thrill down Jaden's spine, even as they filled him with a sense of awe and terror. He stepped closer, peering down at the tiny face nestled against Tyla's breast. He's really mine, he whispered, reaching out a tentative finger to stroke the baby's soft cheek. He's really ours, Tyla corrected gently. And he's perfect, Jaden, absolutely perfect. As if on cue, the baby's eyes fluttered open, locking onto Jaden's with an intensity that stole his breath. In that moment, something shifted inside him, a fierce, protective love unlike anything he'd ever known. Hey there, little man, he murmured, his voice rough with emotion. I'm your daddy, and I promise I'm going to do everything in my power to keep you safe and happy, no matter what. Tyla's eyes shimmered with unshed tears as she watched the tender exchange. He needs a name, she said softly. Jaden thought for a moment, then smiled. How about Jace? 
It means healer in an old earth language. Seems fitting considering he's already healing this old Merc's broken heart. Tyla nodded, her smile radiant. Jace it is. Welcome to the universe, little one. As Jaden wrapped his arms around his new family, he felt a sense of peace wash over him. Sure, he was still terrified of screwing this whole fatherhood thing up. But with Tyla by his side and Jace in his arms, he knew he could face anything the galaxy threw at him. And who knows? Maybe Mick was right. Maybe this whole unexpected adventure would turn out to be the best thing that ever happened to him. Only time would tell, but for now, Jaden was content to bask in the warmth of his son's smile and the love shining in Tyla's eyes. Together, they set off into the bustling heart of the space station, ready to face whatever challenges and joys the future might bring. And as they walked, Jaden couldn't help but marvel at the strange twists of fate that had brought him to this moment. A mercenary, a dancer, and a baby. It sounded like the punchline to a bad joke, but to Jaden, it was the beginning of a whole new chapter in his life. One he never saw coming, but one he wouldn't trade for anything in the universe. Life as a new father was a whirlwind of chaos and wonder for Jaden. Between diaper changes, midnight feedings, and the constant nagging fear that he was going to somehow break his fragile little son, he barely had a moment to catch his breath. But through it all, Tyla was his rock. She seemed to take to motherhood like a fish to water, her gentle hands and soothing voice never failing to calm Jace's cries. Jaden couldn't help but marvel at her endless patience and grace, even in the face of his own fumbling attempts at parenting. I don't know how you do it, he confessed one night as they lay tangled together in his bunk, Jace sleeping peacefully between them. You make it look so easy, like you were born to be a mom. Tyla smiled, tracing a finger along Jace's downy cheek. It's not easy, Jaden, but it's worth it. Every sleepless night, every moment of fear and doubt, it's all worth it, just to see him smile. Jaden nodded, his throat tight with emotion. I never thought I could love someone this much, he admitted. It's terrifying and amazing all at once. That's parenthood in a nutshell, Tyla chuckled. But you're doing great, Jaden. Jace is lucky to have you as his father. Jaden felt a surge of pride at her words, even as a flicker of doubt crept into his mind. Was he really cut out for this? Could he be the kind of father Jace needed? The kind he'd never had himself? As if sensing his thoughts, Tyla leaned in and pressed a soft kiss to his lips. Stop worrying so much, she murmured. You're exactly the father Jace needs, and I'm here with you, every step of the way. Jaden let out a shaky breath, pulling her closer. I don't know what I did to deserve you, he whispered, but I'm damn glad I did it. They drifted off to sleep like that, wrapped in each other's arms with their son nestled between them. And for the first time in his life, Jaden felt like he was exactly where he was meant to be. But even as he reveled in his newfound happiness, Jaden couldn't shake the feeling that something was brewing on the horizon. Call it mercenary's instinct, but he'd been around the galaxy long enough to know when trouble was coming. It started with whispers, rumors of a new power rising in the Outer Rim. A warlord, they said, with an army of genetically engineered super soldiers at his command. They called him the Reaper, and the mere mention of his name was enough to send a chill down Jaden's spine. At first, he tried to ignore it. He had a family now, a life beyond the constant cycle of violence and death that had defined his existence for so long. But as the rumors grew more insistent, more terrifying, he knew he couldn't sit idly by. I have to do something, he told Tyla one night, his jaw set with determination. I can't just let this Reaper guy run roughshod over the galaxy, not when I have you and Jace to protect. Tyla's eyes flashed with fear, but she nodded slowly. I understand, she said softly, but promise me you'll be careful, Jaden. I can't lose you. Jace can't lose you. Jaden pulled her into a fierce embrace burying his face in her hair. I promise, he whispered, I'll always come back to you, no matter what. And with that, he set off to gather his crew and prepare for the fight of his life. He knew it wouldn't be easy, that the odds were stacked against him, but he also knew that he had something worth fighting for now, a family, a future, a chance at a life beyond the constant chaos of the mercenary's way. As he strapped on his armor and checked his weapons, Jaden felt a sense of calm settle over him. He was a father now, a protector, a guardian, and he would do whatever it took to keep his loved ones safe, even if it meant facing down the most terrifying enemy he'd ever encountered. 
With a final kiss for Tyla and Jace, he stepped out into the bustling heart of the space station, ready to face whatever the universe had in store. And as he walked, he couldn't help but smile at the thought of the two precious lives waiting for him to return. They were his reason for fighting, his reason for living, and he would move heaven and earth to make sure they were always safe, always loved, always cherished. The Reaper might be coming, but Jaden Ryder was ready, and he would not rest until the galaxy was safe for his son to grow up in, no matter the cost. The Reaper's ship loomed on the horizon like a harbinger of death, its sleek black hull seeming to absorb the very light around it. Jaden stood on the bridge of his own vessel, his hands clenched tight around the controls as he stared out at the approaching enemy. Beside him, Mick let out a low whistle. That's one ugly son of a bitch, he muttered. You sure we're ready for this, Ryder? Jaden's jaw tightened, his eyes never leaving the view screen. We have to be, he said grimly. If we don't stop the Reaper here and now, there's no telling how much damage he'll do. The whole galaxy is counting on us. Mick nodded, his own expression hardening with resolve. Then let's give them hell. As if on cue, the Reaper's ship opened fire, a barrage of laser blasts rocking Jaden's vessel and sending sparks flying across the bridge. Jaden gritted his teeth, his fingers flying over the controls as he returned fire with everything he had. The battle raged on for what felt like hours, the two ships trading blows in a deadly dance of destruction. Jaden's crew fought with everything they had, their skills and determination matched only by the cold, ruthless efficiency of the Reaper's genetically engineered soldiers. But even as they fought, Jaden couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The Reaper's tactics were too precise, too calculated. It was almost as if he knew every move Jaden was going to make before he made it. And then in a moment of horrifying clarity, Jaden realized the truth. The Reaper had inside information, someone on the inside feeding him Jaden's every move. And there was only one person who could have that kind of access. One person Jaden had trusted with everything. Mick. The betrayal hit Jaden like a punch to the gut, stealing the breath from his lungs. He turned to face his old friend, his eyes burning with a mixture of rage and disbelief. Why? He demanded, his voice raw with emotion. Why would you do this, Mick? I trusted you. I thought you were my friend. Mick's expression was cold, his eyes empty of any remorse. You were never my friend, Ryder, he sneered. You were just a means to an end. The Reaper offered me power, wealth, everything I ever wanted, and all I had to do was sell you out. Jaden's heart shattered into a million pieces, the pain of Mick's betrayal like a knife twisting in his gut. But even as he reeled from the blow, he knew he couldn't let it break him. Not now, not when everything he loved was on the line. With a roar of fury, Jaden lunged at Mick, his fists flying in a flurry of rage and desperation. The two men grappled on the bridge, trading blows with a savagery born of years of friendship turned to bitter enmity. But even as they fought, the Reaper's ship continued its relentless assault, the blast growing ever closer to the heart of Jaden's vessel. And with a sickening lurch, Jaden realized that they were losing, that the Reaper was going to win. In that moment, he made a decision, a terrible, heart-wrenching decision, but the only one he could make. With a final anguished look at Mick, he slammed his fist down on the emergency escape pod button, jettisoning himself from the ship just as it exploded in a blinding flash of light. On the distant space station, Tyla felt a sudden wrenching pain in her heart, as if a part of her had been ripped away. She clutched Jace to her chest, tears streaming down her face as she watched the distant battle on the view screen. Her heart in her throat. Please, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion. Please, Jaden, come back to us. But as the minutes ticked by with no sign of Jaden's escape pod, Tyla felt a growing sense of despair wash over her. She couldn't lose him. Not now, not after everything they'd been through. Jace needed his father, and she needed the man she loved more than life itself. Just as she was about to give in to her grief, a flashing light on the view screen caught her eye. A small, battered escape pod hurtling through the debris field of the destroyed ships, and inside, a single life sign weak but steady. Jaden. Tyla let out a cry of relief, her heart soaring with hope as she watched the escape pod draw closer to the station. She raced to the airlock, Jace clutched tight in her arms, her eyes fixed on the battered metal door. And then after what felt like an eternity, it slid open, revealing a bruised and battered Jaden, his eyes haunted but alive. Tyla flew into his arms, 
sobbing with relief and joy as she held him close, never wanting to let go. I thought I'd lost you, she whispered, her voice raw with emotion. I thought you were gone forever. Jaden shook his head, burying his face in her hair. I'll always come back to you, he murmured, no matter what happens, no matter what I have to do. I'll always find my way back to you and Jace. And as they stood there together, a family reunited against all odds, Tyla knew that their love was stronger than any force in the galaxy. They had faced the worst the universe had to offer and come out the other side. Their bond unbreakable and true. The Reaper might be gone, but the scars of mixed betrayal would linger, a constant reminder of the price of trust and the fragility of friendship. But with Jaden by her side and Jace in her arms, Tyla knew they could face whatever the future held. They were a family, forged in the heat of battle, in the depths of love, and nothing in the universe could tear them apart, now or forever. Jaden Ryder, the mercenary who had found love in the midst of the stars, and who had fought with everything he had to protect it. Tyla, the dancer who had stolen his heart and given him a reason to live, and Jace, the miracle child, who had brought them together and shown them the true meaning of love. Together they were unstoppable. Together they were home. And as they held each other close, basking in the warmth of their love and the promise of a future together, Jaden and Tyla knew that they had found something rare and precious in the vast expanse of the galaxy. A love that would endure now and forever. A love that would light the way through even the darkest of times. A love that would never, ever die.